go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. Now the iPhone XR has that Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 12 mini has that Apple A14 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. All right, let me go and clear all the apps in the background and I think they are already clear except for that one. And let me go and increase the brightness a little bit on that panel. All right, let's go and start getting into it. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one. And I think the 12 mini was definitely faster there. We can go and do the app stores, three, two, one, there we go. And the 12 mini was faster there, the 10R eventually gets into it. So definitely a little bit of a difference there. Scrolling speeds wise, I mean, I'll definitely tell you the iPhone 10R and the iPhone 12 mini are about the same, but the opening speed was definitely far faster on the iPhone 12 mini. Now I have a bunch of these third party apps that we can go and open. So let's do Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And it's just so funny to see how small the 12 mini is compared to the 10R. And I think the 12 mini was definitely far faster there. We will have to confirm our stuff, but even to get into the loading panel was faster on the 12 mini as well. Let's do Twitter, three, two, one. And for some reason that didn't open, but I'll go ahead and open it here to store it in the RAM management. Facebook, three, two, one. And as you can see, the 12 mini again was the faster one. Temple Run 2, which I don't know if I have. Oh, it's right here. 3, 2, 1. And you can see the 12 mini is definitely faster than the iPhone XR, even with pretty much these basic games. I don't want to say these are super slow games or small games by any means, but these aren't the most intensive games ever. And even on that, you can see a pretty big difference. In terms of the gameplay, I don't know if there's going to be a difference. I don't think there will be, but I guess we can see. But that was a pretty big difference in terms of the app opening speeds for this one too. So let's go and do the next one, which is Bofa. And I don't think I have it this time, actually. Let's do Quizlet, three, two, one. And the 12 mini was faster, iPhone XR shortly behind. Dropbox, three, two, one. Again, the 12 mini was faster, iPhone XR a little bit behind it. Netflix, three, two, one. And again, the 12 mini was slightly faster. The iPhone XR was a little bit behind. Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And the 12 mini was faster. iPhone XR definitely behind it. Getting into some gameplay. I don't think there's going to be that big of a difference, I'm being honest. But the, oh, there was glitchiness going on on both. And they both kind of glitched up at the same time, which is kind of freaking me out. Thank you. Three, two, one. It kind of looked like I clicked here a little bit, so we'll give the iPhone 12 mini like a split second leeway. And it still opened it up sooner on the iPhone 12 mini, which is pretty surprising. But I'm glad I caught that right in the camera. So gameplay-wise, it's probably going to be the same. But the 12 mini definitely loaded that one up faster, even with me clicking it sooner on the iPhone 10R. Let's do stack, three, two, one. And the 12 mini, I think it was the faster one. Again, the iPhone 10 are a little bit behind. Instagram, three, two, I don't have it. Paper IO2, three, two, one. Oh, I did have Instagram, I still with the older icon though. And you can see the 12 mini faster. iPhone 10 are surely behind. Getting some gameplay, let's see if there's any differences. And maybe there will be, maybe there won't be, and I totally screwed this up, it's so hard to determine both. But I'll let you guys kind of see if there's a difference in terms of the gameplay, I don't really think there will be. Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. And the 12 mini was the faster one there. The iPhone XR is probably going to take a couple more seconds to load up, which is no problem. And it's definitely taking quite a bit of time. It may be stuck on the downloading panel. That could be very well a possibility. And we do get into it. So definitely you can see how much faster the iPhone 12 mini was for these bigger type of apps. And what I can tell you is for sure, in my opinion, the iPhone 12 mini is the faster phone for sure. I mean, it's just a given. It's a newer phone. It has a newer processor and everything. And I'm actually really happy about it. It was beating the iPhone XR. I think in every single app, which is huge, when you buy a phone, you want to make sure it's, you know, as fast as possible. And especially when it has a chipset like this, and the XR doesn't have as much RAM as the 12 mini. So in that specific app, the iPhone 12 mini was able to keep it up. But I have seen that the RAM management on the 12 mini hasn't been as good as I was expecting, if I'm being completely honest. So I'll kind of keep testing it to see what's going on. I don't know if it's going to get better, but I guess we'll kind of see what goes on. Both of them are still doing pretty decent here. And you can see kind of continue on. They're both kind of doing the same thing too. So in turn, oh, actually the XR restarted that. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers up the speed comparison. Let's go and hit on the cameras. Thank you.